What's going on guys? Charlie Carter, Charlie Carter Outdoors. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've had a video on here. Uh, I have a fishing video. Uh, went sea bass fishing a couple weeks ago with a buddy of mine, Bo, uh, was skipjack sport fishing. And I've been working on editing that video and for, I don't, it's probably just me doing something wrong with the damn program, but uh, every time it just seems like when I get right down to the end, something happens and I have to start all over again. So that's been pretty frustrating. So uh, that one is coming. Um, I'm still working on it, trying to get it right and uh, trying to get it to where it saves. Uh, got a pork butt video that I'm working on right now. Uh, this was, I'm going to put this one on there first. Uh, doing that on the camera and I'm just messing around on the phone. Not used to uh, doing videos on the phone, but we're uh, we'll see what happens. What it looks like it's turning out pretty decent. Um, so we got pork butts at the house cooking right now. Uh, got some other uh, set making videos for for trapping that I have planned. Uh, maybe next weekend or, or throughout the week or something. I don't know. We'll uh, try and get working on that. And then, of course, when it gets a little closer, uh, start working on some trap prep and stuff like that. But to we'll jump on here and uh, do a quick video yesterday uh, I ripped on up to uh, I believe it was Clearview Pennsylvania uh, to the Pennsylvania Trappers Convention and I wasn't sure what to expect other than a long ass rod it was uh, 250 miles uh, four and a half hours to get up there but uh, let me tell you what it was worth it uh, if you guys haven't been to a Trappers Convention yet do yourself a favor find one remotely close to you and uh and make time to get up there um it, 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 it was it was really pretty cool uh you know for for my first one i i, I mean i thought it was cool you know um but it was just man it was so many people and anything and everything that you could think of uh about for trapping you know was was there had uh people outside with tents selling selling used traps and old traps and man there were so many damn bear traps up there I, I wish i could have bought a bear trap but you know went up there with i already blew over my budget uh <laughs> when i went up there so uh next year i have to uh plan a little bit better but uh anything that you can think of from baits and lures to uh set making supplies and tools and uh yeah, traps and uh, you know fur handling and, and and you know hide prep and you know again everything put it this way if you open up an F&T catalog and look in there anything and everything that's in there and more uh, obviously was there uh, F&T was there um, but one of the coolest parts about it was you know being able to, to meet and talk with you know the guys you know the the pros that we watch on TV or or, or on YouTube. Uh, you know, watch their Facebook lives, and, I, and I'm gonna tell you right now, those guys are just cool, down to earth people. You know, um, none of them were unapproachable. Uh, they would spend you know as much time as they could with you. Obviously, there was a bunch of people uh, wandering around. Um, on two different occasions, I hung out and talked to. Uh, the Sawmill Creek Bait and Lures, um, really down to earth dude. Uh, hoping you know maybe I could get up to upstate New York and and uh, maybe do some some land trapping with him on stuff that I you know that, that we don't have here in Delaware. And uh, you know you never know, might get him down down here and uh, you know get uh, get on some of these flat tails. You know because we have so we have so many beaver and uh, muskrat. So we'll see. Um, Jeff Dunlap, Dunlap Lures, uh, another just just cool guy. Uh, he was holding some some bait for me, so I hooked up with him, talked to him a little bit. Uh, that, you know, definitely bought some stuff from from both of them. Uh, you know, and uh, yeah, I mean that part was just really cool. Uh, who else? Uh, Southern Snares uh, hung out over there for a little bit. Um, cool guy. Uh, he 
recently acquired, I think it was recently acquired, uh, Sleepy Creek uh, traps. So be on the lookout, Sleepy Creek traps are going to be coming back. And uh, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what he comes out with. Um, uh, who else? Bill Duke. Met Bill Duke. Duke traps. Uh, really cool guy. Bill, I got to tell you, he, he's definitely shorter than I thought he was. Uh, when I saw him on Trapper Jay's video. Of course, they were sitting down for the most part. Uh, but he had the uh, he had the 850 uh, Wolf version on hand. And let me tell you what, man, that thing is a beast. For you guys up in wolf country, man, man, you guys got it, you know. And uh, be on the lookout for this trap, man, because this thing is a monster. It, 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 ought, to, it ought to definitely do the job. <clears throat> Maybe one day I'll get up, up in wolf country and be able to do a little uh, a little wolf trap, and that'd be, it's on my bucket list of things to do anyway. <clears throat> um, I'm trying to think. Was hoping to hook up with uh, Robbie Gilbert, Trapping Time TV. Unfortunately, he couldn't make it. Uh, hopefully, hook up with him uh, at some point. Um, I know I'm forgetting people, but anyway, uh, if you haven't been to a trapping convention, I'm, I'm telling you, do yourself a favor, get up to one, try and 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 spend a couple days if you can. That way, you're not rushed. They had uh, you know a lot of uh, live seminars going on you know at, at different times i couldn't really hang out for them uh didn't really walk around outside a whole lot because i didn't want to spend any more money than i already spent <clears throat> but um yeah it was just a really cool experience and uh, i'm definitely looking forward to the next one uh but anyway i just want to jump on here one throw a video out there and two uh yeah if you haven't been to one definitely uh try to get to one uh saw Alan Probst there um didn't get a chance to meet with him because he was he was uh he was talking to some kids but uh it was pretty cool just kind of sitting back watching him uh talk with the kids and and you know he gave him a couple traps and you know DVD and <clears throat> you know that that's that's the future of trapping are are the young you know the young kids so it's our job to keep it going right now and, uh, you know, to stop some of these states from from shutting it down, you know, and uh, and then get them involved in it so that, you know, it, it can keep going. You know, I, I, I tell you, I wish I would have got into it a lot younger in life, but, you know, it's a, it's definitely a, uh, a passion of mine now. And, uh, you know, my son's involved. Um, and that's all we can do, you know, is just is just try and keep it going. But uh, yeah. Anyway, if you do yourself a favor, get the one if you can. You know, hang out, talk to these guys. You know, they're 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 definitely cool guys to talk to. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna jump off here and uh, be on the lookout for some other videos coming up here soon. Talk with you later.